Well, uh, just to go back to basics, um, root canal treatment involves um, getting rid of pain and infection involved with teeth. Um, and so uh, people come to us with problems and root canal treatment involves removing the nerve, removing infection, getting rid of symptoms and ultimately saving a tooth. Well, I mean, basically we're very much pain led and people have all sorts of problems with their teeth um, where they could be grinding, clenching, having deep fillings. And as soon as bacteria gets into a nerve, it become, can become infected and painful. And our job is to get rid of that pain, that infection by root canal treatment. Well, it's either due to trauma or fractures, damage, or it's due to bacteria leakage. And the bacteria can get into canals very easily. And our job is to work our way into these little canals, these roots, removing nerve, removing bacteria, and getting the tooth infection free. Well, generally, it's pain. Uh, I mean, people may get a bit of hot and cold pain or a bit of sensitivity, but that may lead on to a really bad toothache. And ultimately, people may come with fat, swollen faces, but people come taking painkillers with disturbed sleep. Maybe they can't bite against their teeth or chew, and they're just generally uncomfortable. Root canal treatment is remarkably safe and very effective. Our job is to cut down on infection and ultimately to save teeth. And teeth which are well treated can last for decades. I mean, they do need protection with crowns to stop them from cracking, but a well treated, well -treated tooth will last for decades. And it really uh, gives people great health benefits to be able to maintain their teeth. There's a lot of misinformation on the internet. Uh, people think they're going to be poisoned and it's the worst thing ever. And people sit in our chair and they fall asleep during the procedures because they're quite relaxed. And as for sort of the horror stories on the internet, basically you can go onto Google and find anything you want. And most of it is unscientific rubbish. Well, people come to us in pain and with infection, and we're doing a delicate procedure, and people may well get bruising afterwards. And so we always recommend different kinds of painkillers or how to take painkillers, occasionally antibiotics, but quite rarely. But people come in pain, and the pain doesn't always go immediately, might take a week or so, but people get better all the time. 